Hey everybody, this is Mel Craig from Revivify, and ever since I got back from SEMA, I've literally been inundated with phone calls, text messages, and emails. Uh, so many excited new guys out there wanting to try Revivify and get started. Uh, we're excited for them. One of the things I'm going to do is real quickly do a fast demonstration for those of you who may have not experienced SEMA or get a chance to see Revivify in action. So. As we all know, paint correction is the first. We have to do a really good job of getting our customers' cars as close to defect-free as we can before we apply the Revivify coating product. So all these guys out there, everybody who's bragging about being a paint correction specialist, one of the things I want to bring to everyone's attention is how can you be a paint correction specialist if you haven't mastered the understanding of paint technology? What does that mean? What's the difference between a soft, medium, and hard clear coat? What's the difference between single spade and OEM paint? What's the difference between a lacquer and an acrylic and an enamel? I mean, there are so many things you need to understand about paint and paint technology first before you can attack the paint and address it to do the defect removal your customers are truly looking for. We are now facing an epidemic of very thin paint. And when I say thin, I'm talking dangerously thin paint. Today, we can only paint correct once in the lifetime of the paint job because if we do any more than that, we'll most likely be thinning the clear coat out so dangerously thin that just UV rays and mother nature alone will eventually break down the paint and create clear coat failure. So when I'm actually selling the Revivify coating product or my paint protection film services, I'm letting clients know the importance of uh, those protective products because once I'm done with the paint defect removal and, I, and I've really done a good job of giving my client the, the paint finish they truly look for, then I tell them I've thinned the paint out so much we need to coat it right away. I don't play games with that. In fact, a lot of times I tell customers, if you're not going to allow me to coat the paint after I'm doing, doing the paint correction, we're probably not a fit. You'd be surprised how many people will buy into that and understand how important it is, and they're going to start trusting you big time. So as you can see, I've already applied Revivify here about 25 30 minutes ago, I haven't leveled this. I'm first going to show you how the application process works. So this is a one bottle application. What that means, this is Revivify Ultra Pro. This is actually the flagship product. Cell feeling, super durable, really super resilient. So instead of hardness, when something, a projectile or things come in contact with Revivify, it absorbs and rejects it. Similar to my cell phone cover. This is a silicone based chemistry. The name of this company that made this cell phone cover is called Otterbox. And they're telling me that with this cell phone cover, if I drop my glass cell phone from about 15 feet, the silicone based cover will absorb and reject the impact and not break my glass cell phone. That is how Revivify works. So instead of boasting hardness, we're just the opposite. We're more like a liquid paint protection film, offering our clients a level of protection these past two years that none of them have ever experienced in the coating category. I'm very stoked and very impressed and have been for two years. We literally now have hundreds of applicators all over America and thousands of applicators all over the US and Canada and many other countries. So real quick, I want to demonstrate the application process. I use this three by five microfiber applicator pad. Whatever, whatever applicator pad you want to use, go ahead. But I want you to be very, very generous with the application process. With Revivify, you need to put it on very, very thick so that you get the result you're looking for. I use this sponge and I just glide it over the surface. As you can see, once I'm done putting it on there, I leave it alone. Come back, put another bead. I'm going to apply it again, two strokes on that hood, add another bead, two strokes. And as you can see, I am being extremely generous and thick with the application process because the thicker and more generous you are with Revivify, the more performance, longevity, and self-healing, resilient protection that no other ceramic coating or no other traditional ceramic coating can compare to. So now what we're going to do is, this has been sitting about 30, 35 minutes. I want Alex to get in with the camera and show you how it's beating up and lining up. It's been sitting, like I said, about 30 minutes. It's just about ready to level now. What's happening 
is there's two parts to this bottle of chemistry right here. Inside this bottle are the solids and the solvents. So what's happening here when we apply it, we want to leave the solids, the silicone protection behind, but we want the solvents to gas out. So as they gas out, that's when you start to see the beating. Now depending on your climate, everyone always wants to call me on the phone and say, Mel, how long do I wait before you level this? Right now it's 69 degrees in my shop. Um, and it's uh, very chilly outside today here in Southern California. So the outside environment, even in my controlled shop environment, the outside environment still plays a factor in the overall performance of Revivify and the leveling process. Again, I'm going to say we've been waiting about 35 minutes. It's beaded up nice. So what's happened is the solids are staying, the solvents are gassing out, and that's when I'm going to give the leveling process a chance to put it in place and make my customer or give my customer the level of performance they're truly looking for for long-term protection. So I'm going to take towel number one. I'm going to start real quick and easy. It's a, this coating, although the wait time is kind of different, it'll be the easiest coating you've ever done. I'm just going to go real quick back and forth as you can see here twice with towel number one. You can see I'm just gliding over the surface Quickly switch to towel number two. Twice with towel number two. And I, it doesn't really need any more net, but for the heck of it, I always use a third towel just to make sure that I don't get any high spots or streaks. Because with Revivify, if you should get a high spot or a streak, it's not like a ceramic coating where you can take a little polish and level it out. It may mean or the result may end up being where you're going to have to redo the whole hood, compound it off and reapply it. You don't want to get high spots and streaks with Revivify. This is Mel Craig giving you the best tip I can. Please go to TeamRevivify.com, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm sure you're going to learn an awful lot about who we are, what we're about, become part of the Revivify movement. This is Mel, I'm out.